One of the standard definitions of poverty is along the lines of what's called the Human Development Index, defined by the UN, and it combines economics, health, and education. There are more than 7 billion people in the world, and if you divide them into deciles, meaning groups of 700 million people each, and then look at it on a map, here's what it looks like. The countries in red are the ones in the bottom decile, and many of them are in sub-Saharan Africa. Then there are the countries in orange, which are in deciles 7 through 9, and some of them are in Africa, some of them in South Asia and Southeast Asia, and so on. These are the countries we'll focus on because that's where these problems occur the most. Now let's look at three specific statistics that go into the Human Development Index, or HDI. The first is around poverty and economics. And there are two things that go into that. The first is the per capita GDP. What you see is that for a wealthy country in the top decile, the average uh, per capita GDP is somewhere near 40,000 US dollars. In decile seven through nine, it's about $2,700. And in the bottom decile, it's only $1,300. So what you're seeing is that the per capita GDP in the bottom decile is a tiny fraction of that in wealthier countries. Similarly, if you look at poverty, specifically the number of people living under $1.25 a day, obviously in wealthy countries, almost nobody lives in that little. But if you go to deciles 7 through 9, you see almost 40% of the population living under $1.25 a day. And in the bottom decile, it's more than half the population. That's the first statistic. The second one is on health. And one measure of health is life expectancy. In wealthy countries, people on average live over 80 years. In deciles 7 through 9, they live an average of 63 years. And in the bottom decile, it's just slightly over 50 years. The third one is education. And again, a couple of measures of that. One is adult literacy, and the second is school-age enrollment. What we see is that for education, the statistics are much closer between wealthier countries and poorer countries. So in the top decile, virtually 100% of the population is literate. In decile 7 through 9, it's about two-thirds. 65% of the people are literate. And then in the bottom decile, it's 57%. Again, notice that the difference isn't as dark in education as it is in the other metrics we saw earlier. Similarly, if you look at school-age enrollment, and this is for kids in primary school and secondary school, uh, in the top decile, it's about 93%. In deciles 7 through 9, it goes down to 58%. And in the bottom decile, about half the kids of school age are enrolled in school. <laughs>